So I have no idea if I'm filling the hair today or I'm not. I just braided them like this. I don't know if I like it today or not. I might take them out. I have no idea. But it's just one of those days where you don't know what to do with your hair. And you're just like, hey, so I have an intro. So I'm saying hello. I'm just going to talk about my hair because I don't like it right now. Anyways, so today I'm doing a what's in my bag. And this is the bag I'm going to be featuring. I guess it looks better over here or does it look better over here? Well, I think it looks better over here. <laughs> so today I'm doing a what's in my bag. And this is the bag I'm going to be. I almost poked my eye out. Oh, I need to stop. Um, this is the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Map. And I'm obsessed with her. I've worn her with practically everything. Even things that probably wasn't necessary. Like bright colors upon bright colors of things. I just really love this bag. It fits pretty much everything. It fits my camera that I'm filming on. Which is kind of ridiculous. That's how awesome she is. And I got her from Bloomingdale's and I got a really good deal on it. I think I saved like $30 or something because they were having a special, if you were like a loyalist or something, they had like some kind of discount. Like if I spent like over $150, then they would take like $25 off or something. And this bag was $198, so $25 off of that was nice. So let's get started. And it does come with an adjustable strap. I guess it doesn't make any sense to mention it now since it probably was shown through a section of the video that I probably wasn't really paying attention to. So first off, I have my phone. I have an iPhone 5. And I have a Victoria's Secret pink case on it that says, About That Life. I have a Quest bar. These are really good. So these are just like protein bars. And my coworker gave this to me and I haven't eaten it yet. And this is in the chocolate peanut butter flavor. The cookie dough flavor, and I think I've tried the coconut one and the peanut butter jelly one. Those are really good. They're tasty. I mean, they're not like the best, like, they're not like the best thing for you, to be honest with you. They're not the best thing for you. But when I'm hungry and I'm at school and I just, like, I'm in the middle of class, I can't go out to get lunch, these really come in handy. Okay, this might be a little bit TMI. Um,. But I got some feminine products, and I have a very TMI question, I guess. Um, I have some tampons, and the thing is, these tampons have a scent to them, and it's really, really strong. And I've never really asked my friends this, but since, hey, you know, we're all girls here. I'm assuming there's always one boy that likes to watch this. But as a, as a girl, or a lady, or whatever you are, are scented tampons like good or bad. Like to me so far, I think they're kind of useless. I mean, they smell fine. I think I know I just smell tampons on camera. I'm sorry. But I think that it's just weird that they're scented because it really doesn't mask anything. If you catch my drift, good or bad, let me know in the comments because I've never asked my friends this and I guess I don't know why I've never asked them, but dang. My overall opinion though, they're useless. So, next I have hand sanitizer. This is the Fruit Punch Vegas from Bath and Body Works, and it literally does smell like fruit punch. Next. Ooh. I have a bunch of Victoria's Secret, like, coupons. <laughs> uh, hello. I mean, why not? I mean, free VS Beach towel over, if you spend over $75, yeah, why not? And $10 off a bra. Girl can save on some bras. I have a, oh my gosh, this almost fell out. Alright, I have a gold cuff, and this is kind of a funny story, like it really is. So, my best friend and I were taking pictures for my blog. I'm redoing the whole blog. Um, I'll get to that later in a different video, not this time, but I am redoing it. Anyways, we're taking pictures, and I found this cuff, like just on the side on the bench where we were taking pictures, and I thought, hey, let's use it for pictures. I mean, it looks pretty nice with the dress I was wearing, and then I ended up keeping it because... I really like the way it looks and it's actually made really nice and I feel like Wonder Woman when every time I do this even though I don't have one on this arm I will eventually get one for this arm but it makes me feel like Wonder Woman and I guess that's really silly but I don't care and also there's a little hole on the side of it I guess there's like a charm or something that's supposed to go on here I think that's kind of tacky I just like it the way it is the person who lost this I'm sorry I thrifted it from you from the bench but I really like it and I will use it a lot often I mean, a lot more often. More so than yourself. So next, I have my wallet slash agenda. And I never really featured this in a video ever or mentioned it on Instagram or whatever. Because I didn't think it was important because I use it so often. 
basically the inside is like it has three slots for your cards and there's another slot right there for you to put whatever and then this part is my agenda and I use it every single day I take it with me everywhere because when you're taking 18 hours of college credits you really need to schedule your life well well <laughs> if not then I would have had like the craziest time this semester but it's really useful and it's made really well and I like it and it still smells brand new which is the funny thing next I have a trio of lippies so I have my EOS lip balm I don't know the scent I think it's the honeydew scent yes yeah, the honeydew scent and like in real life I hate honeydew like I won't eat it. like how I won't eat um cantaloupe I won't eat that either but I like the smell only reason why I have it and I thought it kind of matched the bag but I was totally off because I'm like flipping colorblind or something then I have two lipsticks uh, I have the one I'm wearing currently which is the Kate uh, not the Kate the fi lasting finish by Kate Moss uh, by Rimmel and I'm in I'm wearing the color number 12 which is like an orangey kind of lipstick color it looks really bright on camera but in real life it's not that extreme because I mean I'm wearing it it doesn't look that crazy and then I have this lipstick by NYC. It's their Expert Last uh, lipstick in the color 447 Forever Fuchsia. And this color is crazy, but I like it. What I like to do is I dab it and mow my lips. And then I use my lip balm and I make it like a tint. And then it looks awesome. And that's why I like having it in my bag. Because having like a pink lip really just wakes up my face. Now I have some utensils. I have a pencil because it's finals week. And it has that crazy ass eraser that twists up like this in case you make like a bunch of mistakes. So apparently I haven't made that many mistakes yet, but I'm getting there. And then I have my favorite pen, which is the Pilot G205. And I like the black ones better than the blue ones. I have a quarter. Don't know where it came from, but I have a quarter. I have a Tide to go stain remover because whenever this girl wears white, stuff happens like food and makeup and I don't know what else happens but this guy comes in handy I almost poked myself in the eye good lord <laughs> okay so I found a, another little random tidbit I found a multivitamin yes it's like the grandpa grandma style multivitamin it's ginormous it's literally this big I have a hair tie because you can't go wrong with those and uh, I have another quarter because I don't have like a little change thing at all and then that's everything inside the bag and I love the inside it's really pretty and I have one more little sneaky pocket up at the front so these are called the Rito eye drops and this is in the cool coolest little package ever like best eye drop packaging award goes to these guys and no to self it does burn your eyes and that is everything inside my bag also my giveaway for my last video has ended I'm going to be announcing the winner on my blog so I'll just link my blog down below I don't know when the post will go up because I'm probably gonna schedule it at a certain time but before the blog post actually goes up I will message the winner and everything and all you need to do is just contact me via that girl Kathy at gmail.com not on YouTube because I get weird messages on there specifically on my email so if you're the winner you know what to do but that is all I will talk to you guys later bye